Hello everybody, I'm Rui Dias, Cloud Infra Product Manager uh, from Nokia. And I'm Christian Mandras, I'm pr Principal Solution Architect with Red Hat. And we are here to present the automated deployment of, of NCP. So, what we will see, we have a recording showing, uh, in this demo, showing the setting up of the infra node, installing, the configuring the app cluster, preparing the artifacts for the workload deployment. Uh, we will see this, each of these three uh, steps, right? The jump server, the infra node is also used as a jump server, where we can also run the hardware management. The out of the infra node, we will deploy the app cluster, which is used for uh, managing the workload clusters, and the, the, the app cluster will deploy the uh, workload uh, clusters. There are uh, different tasks that need to be performed for uh, NCP deployment. Hardware preparation needs also always to be done. And then in this demo, we will cover the artifact design with the MAC address uh, collection, uh, site config preparation, site policy preparation. Uh, we will uh, prepare the files with based on uh, previous um, pre-configured templates uh, from Nokia to deploy uh, the, blupr the Blueprint hardware. And we will see in the deployment the installation and configuration of the infra node, uh, app cluster and the uh, workload cluster. Post deployment and the upgrade are not part of this uh, automation demo. There are um, these are explaining the tasks that I was uh, telling, right? So for the infra node cluster, we will uh, do the configuration files just by putting the IP uh, password in the infra node cluster. In the infra node uh, manager, we'll prepare also the, the app cluster files um, and we would upload images uh, to Quay. Uh, we would prepare then the files for the upload for the installation of the uh, app cluster. We'll generate the ISO to, to boot the, the, the app cluster from it, right? And then uh, we would prepare for the installation of the uh, core workload cluster. Chris? Yeah, thank you. So let's switch to the video recording. Um, okay, so the three steps which uh, Rui uh, presented earlier are recorded in this video we show now. Uh, and there are three phases. There's an infra node preparation and deployment. After the infrastructure node is uh, created, it will be used to deploy the hub cluster. And after the hub cluster is deployed and configured, it will be used to deploy the production workload cluster. What you can see here on the screen is that the deployment of the infrastructure is pretty simple. It's a simple configuration file you, where you add an IP address, um, users, passwords, and a basic network configuration, which uh, this, uh, with this input, we are going to generate an ISO image, which will be attached as a virtual media to the infrastructure node, which will boot and will, dis will install a RHEL operating system. After the installation of the infrastructure node, we are going to see how Quay is deployed and how images are mirrored there. And all this is created as an input so that everything else will be able to be deployed automatically. You have seen these steps here, so um, I will jump now to the next phase. What we can see here is preparation of the input for uh, the hub cluster. We have three master nodes and we have two worker nodes. And in this configuration file, we are adding IP addresses and the roles for, uh, for the servers. Then we have a little bit of additional configuration. I will have to hit stop here, just a second. Here, um, additional configuration is, is uh, done in this file for the hub cluster. IP addresses, VLANs, um, cluster network, machine config for OpenShift. We have DNS, NTP configuration. And also what's important is that all the operators which require to be installed on the hub cluster are set it up in this uh, configuration file and they are installed automatically. You will see here advanced cluster management, cert certificate management operator, logging, observability, storage, 
uh, and so on. And also the versions which have been validated and tested. And after this uh, configuration is done, we are ready to start the deployment of the hub cluster. And then I can go to the next uh, steps. The hub cluster was deployed, and now also the operators for the hub cluster are deployed automatically. In this phase, uh, we are ready to use the hub cluster as a center of command, specifically using ACM, Argo CD, and the GitOps and ZTP practices to deploy the workload clusters, which will be used to run the applications. I will jump, jump to the next step. Um, in order to configure uh, and uh, deploy the workload cluster, based on GitOps practices, we have uh, two set of files, let's call them like that, site config and policy gen template. And there are quite a lot of files uh, which have to be edited. But in order to avoid mistakes and in order to avoid uh, human interaction with all these files, we have created various templates. And you will see how based on templates, on user input and on getting the MAC addresses, we are generating these files automatically. So I will stop here, and I will switch a little bit to the slides again. And you will see that we have a rec, and then we have site config templates, site policy templates. We have a MAC address collector. We have a site and policy gen uh, generator. And based on the MAC addresses, which are automatically collected from the environment, based on input data, infrastructure planning data, and MAC addresses, we are automatically generating the site config and the site policy. Okay? And as I said, these files are automatically generated and they will be used to deploy the workload cluster. So let me jump to the next step. Shortly here, you will see how the site config is generated based on the information which I presented earlier. In the same way, also policy gen uh, is also generated automatically. And the next phase, which is automatically, but for uh, this demo, we have uh, stopped it so we can show a little bit more uh, details. We are going to push these files to Git. So you will see how the site config is pushed to the Git. Then Argo CD will start uh, syncing and it will go to the Git, will take all that configuration and it will apply it to uh, the workload cluster. At the beginning, you will see how the nodes are inspected and they are ready to be deployed. At this point, the OpenShift installation starts. After the first phase of the installation is completed, we go to the next phase, which I will present right now. And in this phase, we have the policies. And the policies are again uh, applied. Argo CD will start syncing the policies, which will be applied to the running OpenShift environment. And you will see all the data operators which are required for the workload cluster in order to run Nokia applications are automatically uh, deployed and configured. And this uh, concludes the demo for uh, today. Uh, Rui, let's go and um, discuss what are the benefits of this automation which we have created here. So just to highlight the benefits, right? So instead of having these 200 files that you need to prepare manually out of these pre-configured templates uh, from Nokia, it will be uh, difficult to make mistakes, right? Just use these pre-configured files. We'll have a full automation, uh, automated installation, right? And we, it will uh, get you uh, a faster rollout of, of the clusters. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.